Tony, this is a sad day. It's a sad day? It's a sad day. This is this is the last level. It's bittersweet. I wouldn't say sad. Bittersweet. Okay. Uh, so this may not be the last episode, but this is the final level of the game, and we were we're, we're getting close to ending Ratchet and Clank 2's developer commentary. Yeah, we're uh, we're on the home stretch here. That was a good opening view. It's a great opening view. All right, so I don't remember anything about this level. Do you remember anything? That's a big rocket launcher, by the way. <laughs> uh, it's almost as big. As, it's probably bigger than Ratchet, you could say. Uh, I don't remember. I rem I do know that we use the. Um, I don't even know what to call them. Um, the guy, the the first, the first two part guys that we saw on the uh, on the water level. Mm -hmm. I know that they're a big part of this level. Did you code this level? This was Tim, I believe. Okay. Uh, designed by Leslie. Right, and I think Tim did the enemy sediment, but Peter Hastings did the boss. What do you? I know there's something there's, up there, but yeah, I want to get that platinum bullet. There's a grind, like you can grind up. Oh. You know what we should, you should have done, and uh, you, we've been not doing a lot of things that we should have done at this point. But we could, you know, we would probably benefit a lot from a trip to the Slim Cognitos, a mod modification shop. Oh. And actually buying some weapon mods, which we have not been doing. We we did a bit. A uh, little well the first time we got there, we've never gone back. No, we 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 bought it in uh Demacel. Right. In, okay. in a bold on. Remember because there was another right. mod guy. There's one in the desert too, by the way. I found later. Alright. And now we're about to just go all the way through, and hopefully we can get through the set seven without too much uh too much problems, but we've been underpowered the whole way through, so I think that means we're pretty excellent that we've been <laughs> underpowered the whole way through. Yes, it's like we made this game. I like these Hypnobot stuff. It's a very interesting gameplay that we, I, I don't think, I, we've never done anything like this and we haven't done anything since. It's, it's shooty, but at the same time it's uh, uh, just sort of puzzly enough that it feels different than Ratchet. Yeah. Which is cool. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. Uh, just ran for it. There you go. Oh man, do we just have nothing to say, or? Are we are we done prematurely? <laughs> uh, uh, where were those oh. swing shot segments? Oh there. oh, there they are. Maybe it's just because it's late. I get a lot of camera problems. On, the, on this, our fourth occurrence of you driving down here just to do the show. That's right. Which is very nice of you. Thank you. We we definitely have a lot of camera problems uh, going on here. Talk about them. Uh, I mean, it's hard when you, when you got to frame everything in just this tiny space or whatever. It's very just. Sometimes you just you, you just let things fall through the cracks, and you always know that they're there when you're developing it. So it's not it's not a it's not a mystery, and it's not until you go back seven years later that you realize, oh hey, you know what we probably could have done that a little bit better. <laughs> and as you can guess, seven years later is far too late to actually go back and make any changes. Certainly, certainly, Se seven years and three or four companies later. Yes! Does that actually use four uh, shots when you do it that way? Yes, yes it, does. it does. That's a little less exciting. <laughs> Mother of God. Oh, oh, that was risky. It was a risky move. I'll, t I'll, I'll give you a shot now. Oh, you yeah, now that start. I have no ammo. Well, then you start right here. But there's no uh, vendor or anything right here. It's weird for us. To I don't know. I got point. I got tanks to worry about first. It's weird for us to put a continue point in no vendor. You know what would be great right here? The plasma flow. Is that a chicken sound? Oh, those are the protopets. Oh, okay. 
die, you stupid tank. No vendor. All right, well, give it a shot. I Thank guess. you for using all those mini rocket ammo. Just so you could die. It's just gonna have to be creative, dude. You still got Sentinoids, you still got mini rockets. You're right, I do got Sentinoids. And I do got the heavy bouncer. I didn't use any bouncer ammo. I saved all that for you, buddy. You're welcome. Oh, something's shooting me back there. Didn't kill one of the dudes? Yeah. Two of the dudes. Ah, come on. God, come on! <laughs> wow. There's all kinds of guys around here. It's a good thing we bought the armor. Yeah, no we kidding. We'd be hosed. The double tap does work. Does it? Yeah, I remember we dismissed that as not being in the game at this point. Wait, well early on, but uh... we tried. Okay, well, good. The double taps in. That makes it a little easier to equip gadgets. Uh, what that? What did I just do? You opened up a teleporter somewhere. Ah, oh, there, there we go. go. Wow, we never do that. Rarely. Like, yeah. We, we say a lot of things though that we never do that we're actually that we're we're doing quite often. I really wish we had buy all. For the fiftieth time, let's just wish that. Nick, you got fifty grand. You're you're uh, you're making some monies now. About to shoot some fools. This level seems familiar to me. Like I did something on it, but I don't remember what. Well, you said you set up a lot of these guys. Did you have any setup to do on the uh, on these particular two legged or two whatever guys? I might have done some help with the setup on this level, but I don't think this was one of my levels. Two legged guys are such a stupid thing for me to say. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> You know what? Next time, when, when we do another one of these series, we should be drunk every episode so, we, <laughs> so that we have an excuse. We'll be like, look guys, it's not our fault. We're just idiots and we're drunk. You can run up that thing in the middle. Magnet boots. Yeah. Interesting. It's details. Ah. Ah. Ah, oh, they are behind oh, cover. Yeah. No, that's why I remember this section, because this section is freaking hard. Oh, I'm not doing too good right now. Ah, ah, oh, oh. ah, ah. Come on, Bouncer, do all my work. You should have the chopper, uh on your list of go-to's. It doesn't work very well. Oh, it works okay. Oh, I just got my life back. I'm, now it's time to charge. Now I got life. Onward and upward. The only reason I was being cautious is because I was so close to dead. That's that's unnecessary now. Isn't there a mod for the rockets that make them drop ah. bomblets? Maybe. Uh... Possibly. It seems reasonable. Can you go to the right? Like can you set up skipping this segment? Oh. I, I suppose I could. Why would I do that, Mike? I'm just suggesting. I'm enjoying myself. Let me have my enjoyments. I had no retort. There are a lot of guys, I gotta say. They love respawning. These guys do. Ah. I remember. Uh, Sweet using, mercy, there's a lot of guys. Using these guys with the Morpher Ray was a big challenge because uh, since they're made out of two parts, uh, you have to remember to turn off. Oh, Jesus, they take forever. Yeah. But 
Uh, I remember there were a ton of bugs with these guys in the Morph Array because because uh, they're made out of two Mobies. Right. And so you had to just kill one and turn the other into a sheep, which never happens in any other circumstance. All right, there's too many guys, and they do not stop. <laughs> do we make you do everything in this level? Um, so this level was originally supposed to have the final clank segment of the game in it. Uh huh. And this was the place where the lifter bot would make his triumphant return. Where but it would prove to be not useless. It got it got cut for time and memory and all that, and so the lifter bot lived a tragic one level existence. We didn't want to remove him because he was there, but he was, you know, uh, unfortunately sad oh, and lonely. Jesus. This should be a good point for the Seeker. I'm saying, this is why the Seeker's in the game. Man, we are mean on this level. You don't have enough quick select slots is the biggest problem. Well, once we went to a two quick select system, that helped. Oh, dude. Oh, man, the tank comes in from the side. <laughs> I got cover that's taller than me, so uh, this yep. is going to be pretty simple. Ah, ah, stupid, that stupid toss animation takes a while. <laughs> you spoke too soon. Those guys upstairs. Yep. And you can't skip past them because there's an infiltrator. Will they shoot me out of the infiltrator? Uh, they will shoot you out of entering the infiltrator. So if during the zoom in they shoot you, you'll stop. I'm not gonna work. I gotta go in first person. You should go behind your cover. Because I think with full cover we, uh, uh, we we pull you up when you go in the first person. Go. Wow. Alright, now they're all dead. Whew! We've only got seven segments of health left. For me, Mike, that's six segments more than I need. <laughs> I thought that guy over there was dead. He is not dead. He is, in fact, very much alive. Gosh, dang it! Come on, Seekers, do your job. And this setup is brutal. It's really hard, man. You're having to use all your weapons creatively, and fuck! More waves! Uh, having only one bouncer shot out at a time is really, really frustrating. Yeah, and that's a that's not even a tuning thing. That's a frame rate thing. God, there's so many of them. They don't stop, do they? Oh, look at that! Like you said, six more than you need. Getting so much bolts here. So many bolts here too. In the final level, when you no longer need it, the well, place if I, it gets bolts is on the replay, man. If I was dying a lot, I would need those bolts. 